Hello, and welcome to another part of Tony Hawk Underground on GBA. This time, we are doing the hangar, which is level in Tony Pro Skater 2, which is fitting because that was like the first GBA game with Tony Hawk, and that is kind of the, one of the levels you would deal with in the game. The problem is, this is Tony Underground, and we already have a lot of levels that aren't in this version that they could have added in without a problem. Like Tampa. They could have added a Tampa. They could have continued it in the same story as the actual game. They could have gone in any other approach other than what they did here. Also, it's a re-recording. Because the first recording, I forgot to mute my mic. So the entire time, you could either hear me breathing, or you could hear me going, fuck, 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 fuck. Where the fuck is the gap? What the fuck is this goal? And just, just mainly what the, where the fuck is this gap? Because there are some gaps that I couldn't really find that well. Because they kind of don't make sense. And one of these gaps, I don't get in this video, but I got later on, and you'll see that gap in a, in a later part, but I'm telling you right now, the logic of this gap is so dumb. You see this north lip here? That's the logic. There is a gap called south lip. Can you figure out where it is? Because the hint is, it's not the other ramp. Even though, north and south is up and down, so it would make sense that it would, you know, in the context of this whole ramp bullshit, that the fucking left would be the, the south or whatever, the north, and the other ramp would be the other one, but if you check the other ramp, you don't get shit. And, in fact, the names would make a lot more sense if it was called the west lip and the east lip in the context everything also the terror fucking gap is awkward because you have to grind the actual rail and it's kind of difficult to actually do that in its perspective with this fucking gameplay and shit it's really not good also there are two triple blaze there are two triple blaze they're literally called the same fucking gap and it's just also the hangar has a whip of these ramps like it has that where it kind of is that little sound effect because it's bumping around because it's it's not programmed correctly. Also, there are only three goals in the hangar. The piece of this has the, le the least amount of goals out of every level, and it makes this the shortest level of the entire fucking game. I there are so many problems with the fucking hangar. I swear to God. Like, why would they do this? I get adding a classic level like Warehouse into the game, because every fucking Tony Hawk game does that, and there is an arcade mode as we saw, so it's fitting for something like that. And of course the mall is in the same sort of fucking thing, even though it's a different mall to the Pro Skater 1 mall. But still, like for fuck's sake, we're dealing with like classic fucking levels in Underground. And so many of those from underground, like Hawaii, and fucking Tampa, and Moscow, they're not in this game. None of those locations are in this fucking game. In fact, the game ends on Slam City Jam. It doesn't end, like, it ends when we turn pro, which in the actual story of underground is the halfway point of the game. While in this one, it's like the full fucking story. I I don't know what was going on in the development of this because it was, this was released at the same time as the fucking PS2 and such releases and this is this is the other release this is like the North American release or something like that where it was released years after every other version so you would think they would fucking fix this but they didn't and it's just stupid and also you can see that with Shuffle Blair as well but on the other ground with Shuffle Blair and it makes no fucking sense when there are two Shuffle Blairs because they just fucking Anyway, gap time for hangar. 
first of all, I want to get this fucking lift trick out of the way. If you lift trick up over here, you get this gap called fucking ride the bike. There's no fucking sense, whatever. And now I'm going to show the damn checklist. Okay, so the hangar. We got a few gaps. There's the south lip. By the way, did you see what the south lip was? Did you see where the fuck that was? I'll show it again later on. In fact, very later on. Because this manual, you set the manual over this. Done. Hot suit. But yeah. The fucking... Okay. I'm telling you this right now to get it out of the way. I'll show it in, like, when we get to the arcade stuff. But, right now, the south flip is on the other end of where the north flip is. It's this, it's right here. It's not there, but the opposite ramp. You lift check there, you get south flip. You lift check the other side of where south flip is, you get north flip. The problem is, and this is a big fucking problem, how is it, that doesn't make sense. How is that, how is that the fucking south? The south is down here. The south is not on the fucking left. The left is like east, and the fucking right side is the west. That's the- that's what makes sense about the fucking way the camera works. But the way they said it is like... The, the right side is the north and the left side is south, which means that... The top is east and the, It's so dumb. And what's worse is that you go into the gap checklist, and you see that the south fucking lip is in the air section. It's not in the lip section. Look! This is the air section, okay? Lip gaps? There's north lip. South lip is in the air gap section. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! Ha- DID THEY EVEN FUCKING PLAYTEST THIS GAME?! DID THEY EVEN CARE?! FOR FUCK'S SAKE, MAN! Also, 60 bucks this one. This is the competition, by the way. And I do fail this, which means I basically lose $120 out of what I got. If I had less than 60 after this, you would have seen like a mesh saying, you don't have enough money, come back when you get enough money, what you got the fucking grind horse. But luckily, if you play your cards right, and you don't suck, you, you won't have much of a problem. But, but yeah, like... I, I, I have to rant about the hangar, because the hangar, out of every fucking level, out of every fucking single thing on this game, is the most broken fucking level of the entire game. Like, hands down. Hands fucking down. It is the most throwaway, piece of shit fucking level in the entire GBA version of FUG. And the reason for this, you just saw. You just saw. Only three goals, which is the shortest amount of goals in the entire game. Some awkward fucking grinding as you saw in the first World Blair, like the grind made no fucking sense. That it was the same as the fucking warehouse one. And the gaps are so fundamentally fucked. But then again, the Bronx level is also a good example because of the two fucking gaps where we grinded on the fucking air like we're Jesus! Like, also, I, I fucked this up real bad, and I obviously failed the competition, as you saw. Mainly because of that car there, I could have kept it going, I wasn't for the fucking car, but the car fucked me, so... whoop de doo I'll do it again. I didn't save say, as you can tell. People people keep saying... Like, the, the fucking walkthrough says, to save your game before doing the contest. You don't have to. If you like doing horse, then just keep doing the horse gives the most amount of fucking money. Until you get it. Or... Like, you know, you will not spend so much on health and armor and such in the game because you don't suck. And you'll have enough health to handle this and you won't have too much of a bad time trying to get through of this, like me. The only time you'll ever worry about losing a lot of your health and getting fucked is if you're trying to find all the gaps, which I am because trying to find them blindly with no fucking guide on your own with a health meter, for fuck's sake, which is the only time I ever see a fucking health meter in any goddamn Tony Hawk game, shows me that this game is a fucking dick. And it's even a bigger dick when it comes to how much this game is broken. Just 
how fundamentally fucked this entire port, this entire version of Tug Underground, which people fucking love to death. Like, you see this shit and you wonder, what the fuck? And I'm not alone on this either, so many others have commented about the problems of this fucking game, like the health bar. I have seen comments in my fucking videos so far, saying how much they hate the fucking health bar, how it's one of the worst fucking features of the game, period. Like, say what you will about the slam thing that was added in the later turn out games like fucking, uh, Pro Skater HD, and fucking, uh, 5. But, at the very least, with 5, the slam feature wasn't a complete fucking problem. You, you have the option to make it optional, where you just have to, like, double tap to have the fucking thing happen. Like, tell that grind button, and boom, it's done. It was like before, where you only have the choice of, like, pressing down once, and boom, you slam every time. They fixed that. And I mean, it, it works pretty much fairly well. In fact, it's the best version to ever have the slam move. Because the slam move doesn't fucking suck now. But... This! This health bar thing. There would be no fucking mercy if this was added into the fucking Pro Skater 5 game. But there would be no fucking mercy and the game would die so much more. Also time to see Bam Margera who says Suppoof. When the fuck does Bam say who? When the fuck does he become a brony? When the fuck does he become a jabroni? Huh? When the fuck does he become a fucking jabroni? Don't thank me, who? Please, stop. 11 p.m. Let's begin. After the competition, I met Bam Margera and he told me about this startup company that may be willing to sponsor me. They seemed a little cheap, but they were willing to send me out to Santa Monica, California. Just learn more about the West Coast style and to keep competing in another competition. What else do I have to lose? 3 a.m. Low class ship to the West Coast with free layovers. It's okay though, a small sponsorship is just what I needed. Besides, I heard the skating here is really gnarly and the weather is fantastic. Time to heat the beach. And yeah, we will be dealing with fucking, fucking Santa Monica later on. But right now, we're going back to Battery Park because we got gaps, motherfucker. And we gotta do it right now. We gotta finish up all these gaps. We're gonna fucking destroy Battery Park. And we're gonna move on. And don't worry, we'll, we'll finish destroying up the hangar in like the arcade uh, parts. But right now, right fucking now... We're gonna do Battery Park, because we have a few gaps we have to do, and we can do them all right fucking now, because some of them make no sense, some of them are a bit confusing, but otherwise, we can easily do them no fucking problem. Let's begin with this one. Do a transfer over this spot here for the Boathouse Air. Next up, you wanna grind over to the other side of the fucking road, or no car below, you can do it to the other side that's a bit wavy up there. But, if you run over to the other building from there, you will get the gap known as changing address. Next up, you want to grind the fence, grind this spot, and then grind out the other fence for Fury Grind. It's really difficult to actually pull off. Next up, you want to grind all around this fucking spot here, and you will get the, uh, the cheat. Next, you want to go ahead and grind this rail all the way from top to bottom, and you will get Don't Climb. Next up, you want to go ahead and make a trip up here on this building for pretty high lift, and look at the other building for high lift. And, or Tiny Lip. The other one I believe is High Lip, whatever. Uh, then you want to grind all around the fucking trees. Both of them, in fact, for two gaps. The first one is Tree Chopper, and the other one is Tree Hugger. And, uh, yeah, if you choose to grind the, uh, the inner bit, then that's fine. So I think you can get a different gap for that, though. Anyway, grind all around the skate park by simply grinding this one spot here for Pool Boy Grind. Next up, you want to go ahead and grind over to the other side for Eat Refresh, of where the train is, train tracks. Uh, next up, you want to go ahead, I'm going to check up here for very high lift, there you go. 
And next, you want to get up onto the uh, the thing, the roof here, and then grind the entire thing for close call. It's not that easy to get up there, but just try, you'll get it. Next up, transfer up to the building or down the building for hand subway air. I found that out way later. Uh, next up, you want to go ahead on the manual all the way across these two pieces of grass for wheeling across. And lastly, grind this entire fence all the way from one end to the other, and you will get the final gap. It's not that easy to do, because you have to do it in a specific way, otherwise you will go into the fucking water and be out of plans with Mr. Bootleg Grind. Done. That is every gap of fucking Battery Park. And I didn't mind Battery Park. I thought Battery Park was a nice little level. I wish it was put in another game, because it's pretty neat. I wish someone could recreate this in a Freddy's perspective for, I don't know, fucking, uh... I forgot the name of it already. Fuck it. We are done here. And, uh, fuck pro. That's it. Next time on Fuck on GBA, however, we're going to Santa Monica. And we're going to fucking destroy Santa Monica. So, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time for Santa Monica.